Welcome everyone to the third and final Hunger Games. I wanted to quickly thank every voice actor who's ever been a part of this, every artist who ever made anything for this, and genuinely the people who helped put this together. And specifically for this video, I want to thank Blixamy, Northlower, and Finchwing. They all took part in this, uh, despite not knowing anything about us, what I do, what this is, or what this was, and they knocked it out of the park. So I want to give a big, big shout out to them. So thank you again. As for today is, we're going to have five games. Uh, the first four being, you know, kind of a lead up to the final one. So without further ado, I'd like to warn everyone, there is adult language and slash or swearing in this, as well as many spoilers. So with that in mind, please enjoy the final one. It was a lot of fun to put together. Thank you. Welcome to the Hunger Games. Here we go. All the cats in the forest pause for just a moment. A loud horn sounds, the game has begun. At the very first part, Yellowfang takes a handful of throwing knives. Darkshark runs away from the clearing. Cloudtail threatens to murder part of these kids and refuse to fall in love with the clearing. Uh -oh. oh. I know he's gay already. All of I can. Cloudtail. All, no. all of his kids. All of his kids. They're mine now. Listen, just because I'm gay doesn't mean that I am interested in you. Besides, uh, how am I even able to have kids? Cloudtail, if you so much dare to lay one claw on me and Barley's kids, I will not hesitate to fish fillet you. Uh, Fire Saurus finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. One Eye and the kids both run away. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, That's just the I'm intro the of Into the Wild. Tiger Star and Longtail start role playing. Ooh, ooh. Rawr. What are you doing in my territory? T Tiger Star? Uh, I didn't know you had this side in you. Oh, that's I mean... something I didn't need to hear today. <laughs> nah, the DeviantArt artists will do something with it. We, we know that. Princess throws a knife into Sandstorm's chest. Oh, F. I can, hear, I can just hear just Sandstorm's VA saying. Come the fuck on! <laughs> what do you mean I die already? What? Blue Star, Firepaw, and Tall Star all run away like little bitches. Bracken for a Silver Stream and Gray work together to get as many supplies as possible. Scourge, Leopard Star, and Spotted Leaf all run away. And why is there two Scourges? Scourge and uh, his clothes. Oh. <laughs> 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 why is there two Scourges? Actually, two Scourges. Why the fuck does Scourge have a clothes? I'm keeping it. Scourge gives Gor Gorse Paw a choice. Kill Cinderpill or Ravenpaw. Gorse Paw fights back and kills Scourge. That's fine. <laughs> one of the Scourges He down. deserves it. Well, one of them's dead. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. True. Deviant applauds. <laughs> Alright, this is day one. Welcome to day one. Silver Stream spots a vole with flattened fur. They spend the day going crazy. Seems legit. Uh, Darkstar explains to Firestar in one eye how Princess is acting out of character. <laughs> For throwing a knife in Sandstorm? I mean, yeah. yeah, she she threw a fucking knife. She she killed a Sandstorm. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no shit. You get killed by a kitty pet once, and all of a sudden everyone's making a joke about you. What the fuck? Uh, Cinderpelt finds a Thunderpass but carelessly trips and lucky to get out alive. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that's scarily oh. accurate to the books. Oh boy, oh boy. Gorspaw sleeps through the whole day. Yellowfang collects fruit from a tree. Longtail dyes their hair red to be more edgy. Uh, Brackenfur, Firepaw, Ravenpaw successfully ambush and kill Leopard Star, Scourge, and Spotted Leaf. Well, guys, oh, I'm oh. not too sure about this. Um, I'm like the weakest clan, clan in the clans, and uh. This is a lose-lose situation for me. What do you want me to do? The I second scourge fire. just got out so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it was never meant and to be. So Firepaw killed Spotted Leaf. Yeah. Hey, that seems out of character. No, it's not. Spotted Leaf deserved to die. She was. She had too little importance. Excuse uh, me. You can still smell oh, it. She smelt too good. Barley's kits uh, overhear me and Barley arguing. That's really just it. <laughs> yeah. It's just a continuation of that. I want I want to burn his kits. That's it. Tallstar dies from hunger. Tiger Star goes crazy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> After role playing, yeah. He's too deep. He's too deep. Blue Star is now related to the leader. I don't make the role. I think she is though. The le she is the leader. <laughs> All right. The elders bury the bodies of Sandstorm, Scourge, Leopard Star, Spotted Leaf, and Tallstar. <laughs> Scourge twice. <laughs> uh, Gorspaw and Barley hold hands. Gorspaw, you better let go of my man's hands. 
Oh. This is night one. What a night. What a night. I'm pissed now. I wanted that to be my hand. Damn it, Barla! Uh, Graystripe stays awake all night. Firestar receives an explosive from Starkland. That's Firepaw. Firepaw. Same thing. I'm young actors. and I have an explosive now. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, Firepaw. Uh, Cloudtail was pushed out of their own nest by Cinderpelt, and Cinderpelt took the whole blanket too. God damn it, Cinderpelt! <laughs> Yellowfang sleeps with their new friend, the stick. Oh no. Dick. Oh no. Stick. <laughs> She's becoming what she most fears. Ravenpaw receives a sign from Star Clan. They avoid death for the day. Tiger Star kills one eye for snuggling with Dark Stripe. It, it, it was his That's snuggle buddy. Like, right. That's Tiger Star so happy. That's my oh. snuggle buddy. More booty, more problems. <gasps> well, to be fair, hasn't fat assery always been a sign of pure evil? Firestar blindly runs away, <laughs> runs into a tree. Brackenfur convinces the kids to snuggle with him. Now he's just got a pile of fur next to him. Okay, Brackenfur, come cuddle! Day two. Silverstream switches clans for the day, planning on switching back tomorrow, then switching again the following day, then switching the day after. I mean, Graystripe. Yeah. Graystripe said it wasn't that bad. I mean, why not? <laughs> Honestly, sounds like a fun time. Cinderpelt finds a frozen lake. They invite Brackenfur and Bluestar to play a game. The ice cracks, nothing happens. Not that hard. Flametail's just a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Tiger Star discovers a river. Gorsepaw finds paw tracks in the mud and begins to follow them. The kids, all all of the kids chase Ravenpaw while they're realizing they had a knife in their mouth. Hi, kids. Uh, what you got in your mouth there? Come here, oh. Ravenpaw! No, stay back! Stay back! Ah! I know it's a reference to the vine of, what do you have in your mouth? A knife, no. But this makes me just think that the kids all have a knife in their mouth. It's just a, a synchronous of kids saying, a knife. <laughs> a knife! Is it a giant, is it like a giant ass knife like that they all are helping no. like lift? Or is it like <laughs> every single one of them has like a tiny thorn shaped knife and they're all just gonna like mosquito him to death? Oh. Ravenpaw kebab. Uh, Yellowfang practices her battle moves on a nearby tree. Cloudtail starts singing in French. <laughs> Longtail trips and dies. Longtail would do that. <laughs> Damn, bro. I forgot it was Ravenpaw and not Graystripe, my bad. <laughs> Graystripe and Firestar go on a border patrol. A border yeah, that's, patrol? Yeah, that's the Ooh. All right. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people really want to see them be gay. I am the one of those people. The elders bear the bodies of One Eye and Longtail. What is everyone's Very status? Well. Who's got kills? Fire. <laughs> what the fuck, Firepaw? <laughs> oh, good. Now we're back to the actual events of the first series. Tiger Star gets into a fight with Gorsepaw, but manages to claw their eyes, blinding Gorsepaw, <laughs> and then killing him. Now you just made that too dark. Yeah, you just made that too real, I'm man. Just Gorsepaw. By the way, I will mention the top six people who are alive at the end of this move on to the fifth and final round um, with the top six of every other round. And it's like Shit. a final, uh, you know, final free for all. All of the kids tend to Blue Star's wounds. They all just collectively go in a line, and then just like each kit licks like one part of Blue Star as they go, and then move on to the next <laughs> one. Just one lick as they go. This is why the kits are like a nice character to have. <laughs> what do the stars say tonight, Ravenpaw? How dost one read us the stairs? I don't understand what that even means. The stars say. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Firepaw. What, what do the stars say tonight? The stars say shoot Brackenpaw. Yeah, the stars say you shoot Brackenpaw. How else do you think I managed to completely 360 MLG drink M drink Mountain Dew Dorito Brackenpaw? Pop, pop. Ah! Firepaw sets up camp for the night. Silverstream and Cinderpelt run into each other and decide a truce for the night. She did try to save my life. I mean, she didn't, but. All right, day three. The writers give Fire Firestar one opportunity to swear. Give me, give me some anger in it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Audio is cutting out. Cloudtail finds it no, again. <laughs> again. This is not. I. This is not an accident. This is not an accident. I swear. Um, Tiger Star approaches Barley. Is that a JoJo reference? <gasps> oh, you're approaching me. Oh ho! Then come as close as you like. Time for a rematch. You get a babe! Silverstream rolls in fox dung to hide their scent from Darkstripe. Hey, I can't be pretty all the time, okay? Yeah, you're pretty, alright. Pretty shitty. Gorsepaw <laughs> strikes. Blue Star collects fruit from a tree. Firepaw sharpens their claws on an old bone they find. They drop the bone. <laughs> Watch it fall far below. God damn it. 
like White Claw. <laughs> number one, you made a reference to a dead cat. Thank you. Number two, you made a reference to alcohol. Thank you. Number three, you didn't. I'm glad you didn't catch the reference I made because it was back when I was in middle school. Princess finds the two like Ness and uh, this is an, again another non-accident. I'm with my mom. She's the milf of the series. Uh, Gray Stripe strangles Yellowfang with a rope. I put a lot of references to when I was in middle school with the ooh, what are you doing in my territory? That's from middle school, that was from recess. Don't talk to me about that ever, please and thank you. <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> I am okay. not. That Bracken seems normal of you for some reason. Can you crouch in your sanity for me, Bracken Fur? Am I really okay? Like, what's going on in that head of yours? Like, who hurt you, Bracken Fur? Yeah, oh, is right. Bracken Fur okay? Who hurt you other than the fact that your mentor uh, ignored you after getting sick and falling into a river and then had to ple plead it off of another mentor until you got a warrior experience barely just because you, you know, he lost his other, you lost your sister to a, you know, lost your sister's leg to a monster. You know, it's like, you haven't been through much. You just kind of, you know. No, it's, it's perfectly fine. Everyone goes through those kinds of things. I mean, it's nothing that's nothing new. Night three. Silverstream takes all the knives from 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 the kids. <laughs> it's more or less drop them in the box, put them in the box, and you'll get them back after class. No. This means war! War! Thank you, Silverstream. Holy shit! Who let these kids have a fucking knife? Graystripe was pushed out of their own nest by Dirt Stripe, and Dirt Stripe took the whole blanket too. A bitch shit stain. Well, if I'm finally allowed to swear, I might as well swear at somebody that actually deserves it. Tiger Star, you are an overgrown douche nozzle! Oh, roasted! Princess declares themselves a, cl a claim leader standing on top of a large rock. I guess. Day four. Barley walks in Dark Stripe's dreams. Barley sees something that scars them for life. Uh -oh. He, he limps the true meaning of dirt stripe. No. <laughs> Cloudtail gets her fat ass stuck in a fence. Tiger Star notices and helps him out. Oh, thanks, bud. Let's get you out of there, fat ass. Step deputy. I'm stuck. <laughs> Stop. We're stopping there. <laughs> We're I never want to hear that voice again. Blue Star dyes their hair red to be more edgy. It's not a phase, Star Clan. This is who I really am. Brackenfur finds a two-legged nest and accidentally gets adopted for the night. Oh no. And Princess chases Ravenpaw like the scared bitch he is. Gorsepaw can't believe what they're seeing. Whoa! Wow! That's insane! Hasn't he been blinded? <laughs> wow, is this what Jayfeather sees? Shut. Firestar flirts with Silverstream on the clan boundary. Damn Silverstream, okay. I'm getting both main characters here. Mm-hmm. Firepaw tends to Barley's wounds. Gorsepaw destroys Cinderpelt's supplies while she's asleep. Kits are unable to start a fire and just sleep in one big pile. Come, my brethren! Together we shall huddle a fort! Ah! Brackenfur forces Silverstream to kill either Ravenpaw or Tigerstar. She decides to kill Ravenpaw, the easier one. Okay, so I understand that I'm the easier one, but why me? Why me? This dude has literally been bullying me my entire life. And you choose me out of all the characters! Why? You do realize, Silverstream, that I'm going to Star Clan, and I'm going to haunt your dreams and not let you sleep for the next moon! Bitch. Firepaw declares himself as clan leader while standing on top <laughs> of a large rock. We're, uh, we're a few books ahead on that one. We're a little bit. Uh, this cat spends the day doing absolutely nothing. Good job, every single kid. Come on, guys, we gotta go fight war. No. Dang it, guys. Blue Star, Tiger Star, Silverstream all make a truce. Within five minutes, Blue Star betrays that truce and slits Tiger Star and Silverstream's throat. I would have thought that would have been Tiger Star. <laughs> I didn't like you two anyway. I should have done this a long time ago. Ravenpaw, Tiger, Tiger Star, and Silverstream all die. The kids look at the night sky. Firestar passes out from exhaustion. Princess destroys Graystripe's supplies while he's asleep. Barley screams for help. Hello? Is anyone there? Ha! Cloudtail destroys Firepaws. Yeah, get fucked, idiot. Day six, Barley and Gorsepaw split up search for resources. Kids make a wood, all make a wooden spear. Just one giant wooden spear. Oh, no. Every time again. they get rid of a weapon, they just create a new one. Good job, my comrades. We have a brand new weapon to fight with. And no one shall take it! And it's the majestic, powerful wooden spear! You hear that? That's for the kits. Cinderpell realizes they're pre. 
Lord Noah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Finally, I'm born. Oh, no. <laughs> who who was it? Firestar Brackenfur and Graystripe leave and go on a book long journey. Yay! It's uh, it's very I boring. My two gay dads. Darkstripe receives a vision. Uh, no, it's not straightforward. Good luck. Uh, and Firepaw camouflages himself in the bushes. No one died. Gorsepod dies giving birth. Whatever explains this is going to be a secret I'll take to my grave. Literally. Oh. Oh. We're moving on. Uh, Graystar receives an explosive. Firepaw receives a sign from StarClan. They avoid death for the day. That's normal for him. It's, 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 yeah. Li yeah, it's more or less main just... Character. Yeah, main character syndrome. Main armor. character syndrome, right there. The Kips, with their many weapons, saves, a kit fr saves another one of them. From a fox. Essentially, they do this every day, and they just another add to their to army. And another to add to our army! Ah! Cloudtail begins posing the forest. They're not doing anything weird. They're just giving animators a de decent references for a change. You're welcome. The kids sharpen their claws and no bone they find. Okay, now they have a sharpened bone and claws. Firestar gets themselves trapped in a clear container. It's rounded with all uh, sides with a dark no! covering on top. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 Brackenford declares himself as a clan leader while standing on top of a large rock, blind and finding voles of flattened fur. Congratulations. Cinderpearl sprains a third paw running away from me. Oh, At this no. point, you're just hopping on one leg. Congratulations, you're now a pogo stick. <laughs> and Graystripe also yes. realizes they're pregnant. Who's giving these cats pregnancy? Barley severely injures Firepaw and puts him out of his misery. Man. And the kids see dead cats at night. What is going on with the kits? I'm very curious. I'm very scared as well. I'm starting to go crazy because I haven't been able to kill anyone. And now I'm starting to see dead cats everywhere. And I need, I need more violence. I need blood. Blood. Blood for the blood cat! They've been cuddling with me, so I think they're fine. Oh, the gathering. Oh, good. This is an event. Full moon is out. The gathering has begun. Brackenfur and Blue Star get into a fight over raw meat. Blue Star gives up some runs away. Darkstar decides not to go. Barley and Cinderpelt share tongues. Cloudtail tracks down and kills Graystripe. <laughs> Got it, ass. Day nine. Barley explains to Cinderpelt and Darkstripe how Blue Star is acting out of character. Brackenford bleeds out to do due to untreated injuries, also known as his eyes. All of the kids oh, are no. entranced by Cloudtail's Cloud beauty. beauty. That's <laughs> right. Barley approaches Blue Star. Cloudtail bleeds out. Fuck. The kid, this cat spends the day <laughs> again. The kids are spending the entire day doing nothing, and they're winning. We have not murdered anyone. I, I cry pilot. Cinderpelt and Barley fight, fight Darkstar and the kids. Cinderpelt and Barley survive. Okay, the kids died. Yay. War, war never changes. Even if I'm the last of my fallen comrades. I'll fake my death and come back. Revenge of the Kid coming to theaters. Man. <laughs> Blue Star spots a strange creature in the dead of night. Blue Star eats the first berries to find. The berries heal them. Cinderpelt and Barley and Rita climb the comes. Blue Star finds a stick. It's their Cinderpelt for a dead no, no. cat. Cinderpelt Barley <laughs> from a tree. and Blue Star all discuss the games and what might happen. Blue Star <laughs> Can these cats kill each other, please? <laughs> they really don't want to kill each other. Blue Star discovers Super Pole and Barley kissing him. <laughs> Blue Star teaches Barley how to perform the death blow and Barley practices it on Blue Star. Okay, Barley, you're lining up good. Oh, you mean okay, like- Okay, you're getting a little close. Barley? This. Barley, not to- Hold on, hold on. And Cinderpelt gets green cough and perishes. Which means, if I'm, if I'm correct, that means Barley wins. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> good job, Barley. I really wish Tiger Claw just would have ended the job. <sighs> Thank you, Barley. Let that bitch die. Yay, good job, Barley. I knew you could do it. Let's go. Oh, that is awesome. I am so proud of you. Uh, if only I could have been there with you, but you know. Someone decided to put me and Tiger Star on the death row. So that's cool. 
That's totally fine. So these Barley, Cinderpelt, Blue Star, the Kits, Dark Stripe, and Cloudtail are all gonna go to the final round. Let's get started. Oh boy. All the cats in the forest pause for just a moment. A loud horn sounds, the game has begun. First thing Feathertail does is grab a sword. This is a good start. This is a great start. Stone <laughs> Teller and Storm first start role playing as <laughs> inside the tribe. <laughs> this is this is more or less what actually happened in book in, in that book. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Roar, what are you doing in my territory? <laughs> that was great. It uh, also had reminiscence of what are you doing in my swamp. <laughs> that's true. I'm sorry. I literally, exactly I literally just I woke up from. I literally just woke up, and this is the first thing I record. <laughs> Although like, I, I did Fair. miss the uwu. We didn't get. We didn't quite get an uwu from you. Can so? Can you add the uwu from? <laughs> is there a no wu? That, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't. <laughs> Are you telling me that I died for a Warrior Cats roleplay group on DeviantArt? Actually, it was Minecraft, thank you. Fin Cinderpelt finds a bag full of explosives. Explosives? Well, I might as well make good use of this. Crag finds a canteen full of water. The kits all run away from the clearing. Mosspelt cries in the center of the clearing. Oh, well, all I right. I guess I just have depression. Mm. Uh, Brooke... <laughs> Brooke has had enough. Goes right for the alcohol. It's fine. These pitches are going down quietly. <laughs> oh, Crowfeather joins you in the drinking alcohol. Nice. It's no, it's for, the, it's for the suffocating. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. You know the meme where it's the caption is, nobody loves me, and it's this dude who's like really fucking thick? I just <laughs> yeah. imagine that as Crowfeather. <laughs> 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 Leafpool runs away from the clearing. Sharptooth finds a canteen full of water. Brambleclaw and Mousefur begin roleplaying. Brambleclaw claws into a mist. Mousefur dies. Okay. Is this a legit death? Is yes, it, it is a death. death. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That certainly is unfortunate. Ah! <laughs> Dies. I love it. You lived for maybe a half a second, but it was worth it. Swordtail stands at the top of the lodge rock in the clearing. They're now the leader. I can get my revenge on Bracken for, for sleeping with Scrooge. <laughs> Scrooge. Scrooge. It's it's supposed to be Scrooge. I pronounced it Scrooge <laughs> growing up, and now like it's Scrooge. He just slept with Scrooge, didn't we all? Oh, I pronounced. I still pronounce it Scrooge. Is that wrong? <laughs> I I kept getting Wash corrected. It. That's a, I just kept getting corrected. That's it. I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna Google this shit. Like Arceus, Arceus, oh yeah, Arceus. I used to call Kyog. No, oh, I used to call Kyogre Kyog. Oh, oh no. I used to pronounce uh, Giratina. I, for some reason, I said Gargentina. <laughs> no oil. Alright, let's no move on from Gargletina. <laughs> <laughs> Sorreltail now stares at Crowfur with lots of love. Too much love. Possession levels of love. Please stop. Stop. Get your ass over here. Stone Teller can't believe what they're seeing. Whoa! Wow! That's insane, Stone Teller! What did you find? A reason to live! Unbelievable! <laughs> Crag searches for Firewood. Purdy finds the catnip. They just spend the entire day just enjoying themselves for a change. I fucking hate those pants. Purdy, are you in like middle school, like 2008 levels of Halo? Is that what your mic quality is at right now? <laughs> are you good? Motocloth stalks Stormfur. Cinderpelt gets their fat ass stuck in. Again, how many things is Cinderpelt gonna get themselves trapped in? The fence. Again, Sutfur, don't you fucking laugh. Oh. It could happen to you too, hairball. Squirrel fight eats crow food. Book Brooke steals from Tawny Pell while she's not looking. Ninja. All right, we're at the end. We're at the end of series two right now. We're at the end, very end of series two right now. Leafpool realizes they're pregnant. How many times, Leafpool? How many times? That's, you know, surprise. That's gonna be an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it broke. Sharptooth hates Hawk Frost. Why? I love you to assume I care about your opinion. I love your Hawk Frost, by the way. Thank you. Don't say thank you in a very nice voice in Hawk Frost. Thank you. Don't don't do that. <laughs> That's true. That's uh -oh. true. Never mind. Fuck you. Hawk Frost finds a knocks a leader of a dog into the gorge. They don't fall in either. It's not that hard. Apparently I'm the only one who can get shit done around here. Stone Tellers can't sleep because storm for snoring is way too loud. Weren't they role-playing earlier? No, that was- Yeah, it was them! Yes. Craig leaves Wing Brain Whisker and joins Leafpool's group. Bye, bitches. Ah, oh, Craig. Excellent choice. Rain Whisker is a little stinker anyways. I need to Google what Rain Whisker 
What the hell even is a rain whisker? Let's see. Okay, I know who rain whisker is now. Some rando. Of course you're gonna come buy it with me, buddy. Definitely. Good choice, good choice, honestly. Sharp tooth begs for the, all of the kids to kill the sharp tooth. <laughs> and they refuse. Come on, sharp tooth. You have to survive. We have to eat and kill together. <laughs> Brooke defeats Feathertail in a fight but spares her life. Just this time. <laughs> What do you say? What do you say, Feathertail? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, a, just a lot of breath. It's just like, oh my god, she's actually kind of hot. <laughs> Gay panic. You're cute. I'll let you live. Uh, Mothwing finds a nice tall rock. Climbs to the top. They start. <laughs> <laughs> what? My I'm gonna... sister. What? I'm gonna... That's... This girl has killed so many people. Okay, this girl here has killed so many river playing cats. Mine now. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. It's a rock. How many times have you scared Tawny Pell off? Brooke scares Tawny Pell off. I'm a real bastard. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. You really I can't do today. I know, I'm just like pure also, anger overcome me. Hawk Frost gets her fat ass stuck in the face. <laughs> so Otel notices and laughs loudly. Don't look at me. Uh, uh, don't. Uh, just don't uh, say uh, anything. Uh, don't shut up. Your fat ass <laughs> is mine, Hawk Frost. <laughs> Please <laughs> shut oh, God. up. No. Feathertail severely inches Mudclaw and leaves them to die. Oh, how dare you! Just as you join in Mudclaw, you just. I know. I, I come in an hour after everything happens, and this is how you repay me? What the heck? Oh, Mothwing receives me several explosives from Star Clan while on top of the rock. Time to give it to Swirl, too. Wait. Brimaclaw switches clans for the day, planning on switching back tomorrow, then switching again the next day, and then switching the day the day after. Cool, thanks, Brambleclaw. Cinderpell, uh, it's okay, I don't believe in Brambleclaw. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone? He just doesn't exist. <laughs> just, I don't want him to anymore. He's <laughs> not here. Stone Taylor and Sharptooth agree to come on their phone. So, yeah. This is not the fan fiction I was expecting, but it's well over oh. seen. Oh, they reached an alliance. The fan fiction we wanted, the one we needed. True ending. Brooke stares off into the distance. <laughs> just just quietly humming to themselves. <laughs> Say that one more time. Who knows what they're talking about? Who knows what they're thinking? What's going through their mind? Who knows? Say that one more time. The soup cereal. <laughs> cereal. Why do they call the cereal it? Cereal soup. Why do they call the driveway the parkway you drive in? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, let me let me shoot let me shoot one back. Do you sweat in the shower? Why do they call it oven? Oh, god! Why do, why do they call it oven when you oven gold food of our Easter food? Why do they why'd they why'd you bake, bake cookies you but cook it? bacon? Do you do? Peck of pickle pepper. Peck of pickle pepper. Peck of pickle pepper. Brooke, 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 are you, you get it? You good? You there? <laughs> oh, everything's good. Alright, alright, good, good? Alright, cool. <laughs> Why do feet smell and nose run? Alright, so. Shit! <laughs> Shit! Stop! Again, Mothwing is on top of the rock declaring themselves as leader. What is. Are you okay? Um, I'm just doing something that Hawk Frost and Curl Feather couldn't do. <laughs> also, oh. this rock is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take that fucking rock. Come cuddle with us, Moss Pal. Squirrel Flight, Rain Whisker, Purdy, and Soto tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Asher leaves midnight and joins Hawk Frost's group. I think we'd make a good team. There's so much ship. I'm telling you, we'd make a good team. <laughs> Feathertail declares themselves a clan leader. Uh oh. Challenging Mothwing oh. th for the throne. You wanna go? Mom's go late, I be clan leader. Mom said it was my oh, turn. My <laughs> it's my turn with the rock. <laughs> it's my turn on the rock. Brambleclaw, oh, Sharp Tooth, fight, and Leafpool get into a fight. Leafpool triumphantly kills them both. Good job, Leafpool. Oh, okay. I don't want to brag. That's a damn cougar, dude. <laughs> I don't know what kind of strength I have in my little chicken arms, but you better watch out. Good shit, all right. The evil is defeated. <laughs> <laughs> Tawny Pelt hacks the Warriors website, rigging the next poll. Oh no, oh, oh boy. Fuck you, Ivy Pool. 
body pelt's time now. Sorotel explains to Mothwing and Cinderpelt how Hawkfrost is at, acting out of character. He has it, such a thank you earlier. No, you just have a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> we agreed not to talk it. about it. Stop like presenting it to the world then, I Hawkfrost. Like <laughs> I think Motomoto likes you. No! Stone Teller explains about how Tawny Pelt is acting out of character. Well, we're just gonna go off with the fact that her brother might have just died at my apparently bloodlusting hands. That's so. Shh, nobody tell her. Brooke poisons Moss Pelt's drink, but in thinking the existential thoughts, they drink it. Uh, they drink their own and die. <laughs> oh, That's rude. Oh, I had to bring myself down. It was getting. It was getting too much. You would have been too, too powerful. Much. Evil was overcoming me too hardcore. Gotta go. So for purposely steps on a stick, scaring off all of the kids' prey. Why do they keep stepping on my freaking stick? It's my stick, dumbass. If you're seeing my stick. Purdy finds a frozen lake and they invite Midnight and Squirrel Flight to play a game. Uh, the ice crack is Midnight. That's it. She's just big. Flame tail still is heavier. It's fine. Ashford tries to spear fish with the trident. Feathertail switches clans for the day, then <laughs> switching, taking after her mother. Cinderpelt defeats Crag in a fight. But spares his life. I, uh, I don't know how I'm alive. I decked this big ass guy. He just became leader and I decked him with all three of my legs. Now that I've beaten Craig, doesn't this make me leader? Am I now the leader? <laughs> Andy said I couldn't be a warrior. It's okay. I think, I think Craig would be the type to play Fortnite. Yeah. Where are we dropping, boys? We don't settle for weak shit like Greasy Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Mothwing Purdy destroys Purdy's supplies while he's asleep. Pool. Rain whisker again, dude. Also, I've noticed that I've slowly been going through all of uh, Tiger Star's children. First, Brambleclaw killed him, but we're not going to talk about that. And then Donnie Belt, and now Hawkfrost. So you know what's next, baby? Shouldn't have been near my things. Shouldn't have been near the rock. Lost Pelt finds a nice tall rock. Climbing to the top, oh, no. they start screaming. What do you scream? Ah. Is that good? Cinderpelt climbs to the top of a tree. That's a nice view. It's mostly just Hawk Frost's ass. Purdy uh, chases the kids after they realizing they had a knife in their mouth. Again. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that fits way too well. <laughs> Feathertail is pricked by thorns yeah. while picking berries. Leafpool leaves Cinderpelt for a dead cat. Crag leaves Ashford for a dead cat. <laughs> the kids just walk away with a knife in their mouth. Moss Pelt searches for a water source. Squirrelfly goes hunting. Tawny Pelt chases Hawk Frost. Brambleclaw likes me more. Mothwing confesses to Stormfur. I want to kill a hawk frost. He touched my rock. He touched my rock. Touch his fat ass. The kids find the rock. And they start laughing. <laughs> Are you going to kill the kids? Are you going to do I it? Mean... Tell me now. Come here, Mothwing. I challenge you on the rock. And we'll see who's king of the hill. Ah! Mothwing sees a fire, all, but stays hidden, just spying on the kids. <laughs> I will come after you. Rain Whisker, Leaf Pool, and Squirrel. Rain Whisker, why? I can't shake this guy, dude. Get out of here, man. Sorotel declares himself as the clan leader and stands atop of a live rock. How many people oh, are going to get on Nothing's bad side? I'm coming for that Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Yes. Oh, Finally. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh, no. Oh. I'm telling Brambleclaw. Midnight uses a kid as a projectile, killing Cinderpelt. <laughs> ah, shit. Midnight, what the fuck? I feel like this is to spite me. I, this is totally to spite me. These kids are just killing everybody. <laughs> oof, that's a, <laughs> that, that's, that's a move. That's a big oof. Pretty receives Earth. Yeah, it's an epic way to die, though. <laughs> it's an epic way to die. The kids defeat Crowfeather in a fight that spares life. And now. make him watch them what kill the Cinderpelt. What the fuck is that dust cloud in the distance? Oh shit! That's the kit. Midnight no. kills Moss Pelt with another kit. Just starts lobbing them. Mothwing screams at Sitfer and Ashfur. You two have touched the rock and also Ashfur. No. Leafpool starts a fire. What can I say? I'm fired up. I really had to get the action. Uh, for the whole, you know, fire scene, squirrel flight, ash for, you know, I wanted to be involved more, so sometimes I just gotta speed things along <laughs> and start the fire your damn self. And Crowfeather and, uh, and squirrel flight agree to color on four trees. <laughs> Interesting. Ah. Squirrel flight, huh? Leafpool peacefully finds some berries to chew on. Kids think about home. Purdy starts singing French. Mothwing fishes. <laughs> 
Heather Taylor camouflages him. Her, I really want to see a country accented French singer. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that even possible? <laughs> that would just be a really bad There's only one way to find out. Hawk Frost stares at Purdy with lots of love. Maybe I do like Dilfs. <laughs> oh. <Is he> here? <laughs> oh my gosh. launches themselves as Slactite. It breaks and the rocks come crashing down on a mountain lion. Sorotel lives. It's not that hard. See? Well, you just hey! have to take some notes, Feathertail. You just have it's to try. Maybe. She's getting bullied. Maybe. Leopard star, I'm getting bullied. Mothwing begs for Hawk Frost to kill her. He refuses keeping Mothwing alive. That is a terrible idea. How dare you, Hawk Frost? That's no, my sister. Me. What do you want me to do? Just kill me. Crag teaches Squirrelfly how to perform a death blow. Squirrelfly practices on Crag. No, Crag's dead. Very good, young one. Feathertail Yay. licks himself. The kids walk very fast. You know the the speed walk cats do. Like the where the where, where's he going? The ground is shaking. After all of that, after all of that, very much more castle jumps in that rock. This. Finally, I can get Bruh. the fucking rock. All right, now I have one question: Who is going to take the rock now? Me. Me. I, Me. I called dibs. If Hawkfrost didn't leader. kill her, something would. <laughs> this is the true Hunger Games. They've already, ta they've already taken my stick that was originally crow feathers that I slept with for some apparent reason. It was, I only had it for five seconds and then I got my neck snapped. <laughs> the stick is the one killing people. Oh no, I have to make the stick, stick a character the now. I have to make the stick a character now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Crowfeather, Hawkfrost, and the Kiss set, cheerfully sing songs together after Hawk, Mothwing's Got death. The Who's the Got one suggesting the, the songs, rock, I wonder? Practices her battle moves on a nearby. A frat! I took down a cougar earlier, man. Who needs practice? The, all of the kids practices their archery. It's mainly just like throwing kits. At, at, <laughs> they are the arrows. If we throw a penguin hard enough, it flies. Just like children. It's just this game is gonna be called the game, the Battle of Sticks and Stones. Sorry, what day are we? Day ten. Day ten. Oh no. Yo, that is so yeah, accurate, though. Like half the cast is still alive. <laughs> Leafpool sleeps the whole day. Ah, oh, what a queen. If you don't stop snoring so gosh darn loud, I'm gonna slice your throat. Squirrel flight travels through the caves, but. They can't find their way out. Muffled screaming can be heard from the underground. Yes, they perish. There's just a bunch of explosives hidden underground. When do they go off? Nobody knows. Uh oh. 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 I feel like I've seen this movie before. Stone Teller, Rain, freaking Rain Whisker. Leaf pull midnight and Tawny sleep in shifts. I, I'm not sleeping when Rain Whisker's awake. It's got one lazy eye and it's always looking at me. Swordtail blindly runs into a tree. Hawk Frost. Sleeps with the new friend, the stick. First the rock, now the stick. I'm gonna get all the important things. <laughs> what about oh, me? Stones. What about me, Hawk Frost? No. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> all right. Feathertail shivers oh, until Stormfur. Oh, that's actually just siblings. <laughs> we are siblings. We care for each other. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I knew no. that they would come, Hawk Frost. <laughs> no. Bye, Why? Hawk Frost tries I to sneak you. through the forest. <laughs> But they're dummy thick, and the clap of their ass cheeks keeps giving away their position. You me. Leafpool goes to sleep. The stone teller licks himself. Stonefur saves a kit from a fox. Hawkfrost receives fresh ass from Star Clan. I'm just gonna make you suffer now. Hawkfrost went into the dark forest for having too much ass. <laughs> <laughs> the kids let Rainwhisker into a shelter. Crowfeather has their neck brutally snapped by a little kit. What? I told you not to snore again. But now, since you're dead, the problem's been solved. Like normal. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Just, just, a, just a, one of those tiny kids just walked up behind him. To... Yeah, I, I think that's just the running trend in this series. Yeah, it's just like you yeah. feel tiny paws around your neck, and then suddenly everything goes black. Congratulations, Crow Tiny Feather. paws around your around your Ow. neck, and then suddenly a big jolt. This is why I have nightmares. Several tell sleeps. Kids are like a cryptid at this point. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are an eldritch <laughs> beast. If you hear something in the forest, don't look behind you. It's the kids. Before you know it, you'll feel their tiny paws around your neck. Purdy cries himself to sleep. Feathertail declares themselves as clan leaders, standing on top of a large rock. Don't fucking dare Fine. you. Sudfer passes You're out from exhaustion. <laughs> Midnight flirts with Brain Whisker at the clan boundary. So is he lost their love, Stormfur, to Tawny Pelt. Well, now I'm just depressed. 
Stone teller is entranced by Purdy's beauty. Uh, old men, old men. Feathertail climbs to the top of the tree. That's a nice view. The writers give the kids one opportunity to swear. Just, why are you watching so much of this, Hawk Frost? <laughs> you know the answer. You just don't want to say it. Leafpool screams at the kids and Sorrel Tail. I would never scream at Sorrel Tail. How dare you insinuate? Kids, absolutely. Kids suck. Sifter and Stone Teller go on a border patrol. Sorrel Tail asks Rain Whisker for a badger ride. Smiley face. Kids discover a river. Tawny Pelt ambushes Purdy and kills him. Feather Tail dies giving birth. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, that's a way to go out. Well. Mother, why? That's the same way your mother was. The writers forgot Leaf Pool existed, but they do. Midnight gets their fat ass stuck in a fence. Hawk Frost notices and laughs loudly. <laughs> no, you know how You're it feels. To talk. You know how it feels. <laughs> Don't tell her. Spots a bowl with flattened fur. They spend the day going crazy. That's in character, actually. It's what you mean? What do you mean? The, like I said, the stick really is making the rounds. <laughs> the kids find the stick now. It's their stick now, no one else's. Me, I don't think I have. Pick stones and this ass. is day 16, by the way. <laughs> I need to oh, fix the death hell. rate. Leafpool defeats Sootfer in a fight, but spares his life. I hope this leaves all oh, the next one. Hawkfrost complains the whole day. Everyone's making fun of me for my fat ass, and now I lost the rock. I spent so much time trying to get it, and I can't find it anymore. <laughs> I hate this. Hot Cross Midnight and Tawny Pelt cheerfully sing songs. <laughs> All the kids just blindly run into a tree like pinball. It's just like da -da -da -da. the sheer force knocked a tree over. Him. Attack! Stone Teller looks at the night sky. Sootfer kills and possesses Leafpool. Sootfer now acts as Leafpool. Oh boy. Sootfer, what the? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I was worried about Rain Whisker the whole time, but it turns out it was stood for I did a little googling. They're related. <laughs> Rude. Stood for is gay for Tawny. Went <laughs> 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 straight for it. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> wow. Hawk Frost realizes they're pregnant. My day keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> All of the kids say midnight from drowning in the river. I can imagine them making like a chain link as they like, you know, they grip onto one like another. Like ants? Yeah, like ants, they make a chain link to like go into the... <laughs> the kids all sprain their collective ankle, running away from Tawny Pelt, and midnight injures herself. No dead bodies. Sootford, Tawny Pelt, work... <laughs> and Sootford and Tawny Pelt work together to drown Hawk Frost. Oh. <laughs> this is betrayal. Stone Teller runs away from the kids. Come here, Stone Teller. We cry. I regret the... helping them. Help. Midnight and Stone Teller share tongues. Tawny Pelt sleeps. Kids, <laughs> kids and Midnight work together to draw ta drown Tawny Pelt. Is it this so romantic, Midnight? <laughs> and Stone Teller eats death berries, thinking they were harmless. Idiot. <laughs> Everybody oh, points you, and laughs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's now the kids versus out. midnight. It's now the kids versus midnight. Hey, would you rather fight a hundred kid sized badgers or one one badger sized kid? Oh my god! It's for the kids. And the kids win. Wow. All the cats pause in the forest for just a moment, allow horn sounds, the game has begun, Millie runs away from the clearing, running into the tail snipping does not stop here. Holly Leaf runs away from the clearing, Crowfeather dies tragically, the Aaron Switch Riders, they forget, Crowfeather stays alive, the stick is cr- <laughs> Oh! No! No! My yes, stick! <laughs> He has returned to his brethren. Fuck! You have two sticks now. <laughs> That's a big one! They thought they got a larger stick. I can't fit that one in my mouth. I thought you were gonna say something <laughs> else. <laughs> Not if you don't try! Heathertail runs away from the clearing. Ashra stares down one star before both cats walk back away slowly. Uh, Stone Teller finds a canteen full of water. Barry knows. Runs away from the clearing. While running, they're. A <laughs> A, t a very stumpy tail! <laughs> very stumpy tail! I find this funny, shut up. Missy starts well, to then. slice a squilf with a sword. Okay, hold on. Squilf? Wait, I, ha I haven't read the most recent Warriors books, I will be honest with you. I, you know, I read some of Vision of Shadows and then I kind of, like, turned off. I got better things in my life, um, somehow. 
So who's Squilf and who named the cat Squilf? Oh, it's it's literally is it Squirrel? When <sighs> I just googled it. I just googled it. Okay, so it stands for Squirrel Squirrel that uh, Squirrel Flight, I guess. But <laughs> the Urban Dictionary has quite a different definition. Traumatized now, but anyway, yes. Misty Star slicing someone. That's pretty in character. Fallen Leaves runs away from the clearing, Soul commits his leaf pool that the berries they found weren't death berries, this and leaf right. pool eats them. Leaf pool eats them, thank you! Medicine cat training aside, when there's a treat, there's a treat, baby, gotta chow down. Graystripe stares down, uh, stares down rock before both the cats back away slowly. Little Cloud takes a spear from the inside of the cornucopia. Uh, Black Star and Midnight share tongues. Daisy receives several explosives from Star Clan. Lime Blaze runs into the cornucopia and hides like a little weenie. Brightheart runs away from the clearing. Kits receive a trident from the cornucopia, and I grab a sword. It's, it's, a, not, it's not exactly a replacement what? for the stick, but it's it a be. sharper stick. Black Star is gay for Stone Teller. Elders what? are oh, awesome. Okay. Barry Nose goes crazy. Oh no, because he got his tail snipped off. Rock receives fresh water. Little Cloud eats crow food. Crow Feather begs for. Good. No, I shouldn't have kept you alive. Fallen Leaves lost their love. Misty Star to Midnight. Daisy practices archery. Soul questions the validity of the events in the series. And the stick, Squilf, and Leaf Pool died. Night one. Rip stick. Rip stick. Brightheart finds a two-leg nest and accidentally gets adopted for the night. Fallen Leaves finds a stick. Oh, it's, it's, it's the stick. It's my <laughs> stick. It's my stick. But he is no longer alive. Millie has her neck brutally snapped by a little kitten. Barry Nose catches a mouse, good job. Crowfeather is awakened by nightmares. Kits, after killing Millie, join Blackstar and Heathertail singing songs. Uh, Misty Star defeats Jayfeather in a fight, but saves his life. Yeah, that's right, you old, old hag. You old hag, yeah, walk away. I'm not gonna act surprised that Misty Star manages to wreck everybody within the first day and night, but. Greystar loses sight of where he is. Rock uses a kid as a projectile killing soul. He would. They're at it again. He absolutely would. Holly Lee finds a nice tall rock, climbing on top of it. They start screaming. Midnight screams at Ashford and Stone Teller, Missy Star, and Brightheart, and Graystripe all go on a book long journey. A book long journey? That's fair. I have plenty of life to spare in a book long journey. Kits roll in Foxdom to hide their scent from Rock because he's been using them as projectiles. Heathertail walks into One Star's dreams. Heathertail sees something that scars them for life. Hollyleaf makes a wooden spear. Jayfeather picks... Listen, <laughs> it's herbs. The herbs, the herbs. Yeah. The writers forgot Lion Blaze existed, but they Dude, do. I'm, I'm almost a background character. Daisy I'm gets caught in a two-leg trap. They lose her tail. Barry no holds a vigil for the fallen tail. Blackstar teaches Crowfeather to perform a death blow. Crowfeather practices on Blackstar. Nice job. Uh. Does that mean I'm dead? Yep. You're stupid. Rock tends to his wounds. Midnight lets Crowfeather into his shelter. Graystripe forces Heathertail to kill Stone Teller or Jayfeather. She refuses to kill, so Graystripe kills her and- Oh, wow. <laughs> Graystripe, are you good? I mean, I was on the chopping block, but holy shit. Ashford cries himself to sleep. Yeah, good riddance. Jayfeather, I don't see it. I smell it. Brightheart finds a two-leg nest and accidentally gets adopted again for the night. Why? Barry knows sleeps the whole day. Blind Blaze starts singing in French. Uh, bonjour. <laughs> One star clearly wasn't looking where they're going and runs into a tree and dies. Stone Teller passes out from exhaustion. Fallen, fallen Leaves licks himself. Blem. Blind Blades bleeds out into un due to untreated injuries. Oh, that's so shit. <laughs> this is, must be like a super edition or something. Yeah, it's gotta be. Midnight hey. Rock and Jay Feather all discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. This is this is probably a canon conversation, and I'm just kind of yelling at them like, why the fuck is their prophecies so goddamn vague? Uh, Fallen Leaves and Daisy explore an underground river. Uh, it's a fun water slide. Nice. Wait, that's Fallen Leaves. Wait, Kits picks flowers. Astro stocks Gray Stripe. My <laughs> place. <laughs> <laughs> Only lying place. Midnight, Misty Star, and Graystripe sleep in shifts. Jay Feather licks Daisy's wounds. Barry Nose sneaks up on Brightheart and attempts to land a killing blow. They roll in that one, and the attack lands on them instead. Oh, yeah. Stone Teller just shoots an arrow into Hollyleaf's head. Nice. Look, I know I wasn't special, but like, dang, that hurts. <laughs> Fallen Leaves severely yeah, injures. hurts to lose. Fallen Leaves severely injures Ashfur and leaves him to die. Like, good shit, man. So. A drowned cat can touch me? It's almost like the writers don't care about events being 
canon anymore. Eh. Misty Star flirts with Stone Teller in the Clan Boundary. Whoa, hold up! Isn't Stone Teller like an old wrinkly cat? Hold on, hold on. Let me get a let me get an image on this man. Oh, okay. Are we talking about the brown furred Stone Teller old dude? Because no, like the girl one. Sure, sure. But the mm, not the old. The kids all stalk me. <laughs> I I know you're there. You don't know we're here. Shh. Give us the stick. You can't lie to us. You can't. Fool Daisy stalks Fallen Leaves, manages to escape. Attacks Fallen Leaves, manages to escape. We just went on a water slide, how dare you? <laughs> Rock, Jay Feather, and Little Cloud all successfully ambush and kill Midnight Misty Star of the Kids. Finally, that bitch dies after 20 years. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I was so I was so sure that I was about to win this thing, and I and my god complex was going to be like built up. And also, how dare you? There are tears splashing onto my microphone right now. I hope, I hope you feel like a horrible person. And fuck these kids. Two blind guys <laughs> and <laughs> some medicine can't manage to get a badger. The orge of kids and and not an an immortal being. And How a, is that and, and a <laughs> Hey man, listen. Brightheart, Fallen Leaves, and Daisy get into a fight and try. Daisy tri triumphantly kills them both. Yo. After you slid on a water slide. Water slide. <laughs> Yo, Pog, Daisy, let's go, Daisy. Midnight Misty Star. Jeez, hits I'm pretty sure that is the most deaths. <laughs> and then Daisy decapitates Rock with this. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Daisy's really going for the win here. Daisy ain't as dandy as one. <laughs> Stone Teller and Crow Feather run into each other and decide to choose for the night. I fuck. Graystripe kills me thinking it would make them leader. It doesn't. You're a dumbass. Little Cloud dies trying to escape the arena. Quick chip in now. Daisy's gonna die giving birth. Crowfeather sees a fire, stays hidden. Graystripe sleeps in a tree. Daisy is pushed out of their own nest by Stone Teller. Stone Teller took the whole blanket too. He's asking for it now. <laughs> He's asking for death. <laughs> oh, at, a, at the immediate turn. <laughs> Stone Teller pushes Daisy into the lake and watches them flail around until their head goes under. Stone Teller was just like, nah, sister. First, first I take the blanket, then I take your life. Graystorm gets into a fight with Crowfeather, manages to claw their eyes, blinding Crowfeather, like father and like son. Stone Teller gets her fat ass stuck on a fence. Crowfeather notices and laughs loudly before leaving them to die. Oh. Oh, and Crow, Bro, what the hell? And Graystorm dies from thirst. <laughs> As one does. Meaning the blind Crowfeather. <laughs> Wins, wins of this one. All the cats in the forest pause for just a moment. The ho loud horn sounds, the game has begun. Ivy Pool stops and begins to lick themselves as soon as the game starts. Doesn't, yep. <laughs> Zero fucks. Lurp, lurp. Sandstorm rounded up Dovewing, Broken Star, Breeze Pelt, Jay Feather, and the stick and hope a tree falls on him. Nothing happens. Good. Don't you fucking do that again, grandmother. Oh, come on. No, no, that's... Oh, come on, you don't want to be fun about it? Aw, oh, bro. What a party pooper. Boo! All the noise in the clearing attracted a hungry family of foxes. Maple Shade makes a run for it. They make a quick maneuver and break a fox's ankle. Ankle break it? Oh, oh. Brer Light snatches a bottle of alcohol on a rag as soon as the game starts. Thank you, Brer Light. We all, we all know you needed a drink. Hawkfrost reminds Tigerheart that they can subscribe with, for free with Twitch Prime. <laughs> Did you? Did you know? Spotted Leaf rounded up Firestar, Tigerstar, Half Moon, Cinderheart, and, F and Fox Sleep, and hope a tree falls on them, and it does! <laughs> I don't know what that Mickey Mouse laugh was. Yellowfang stabs Hawk Frost while his back is turned. Thistleclaw, Blindblaze, and Spotleaf hunt for other tributes. A giant eagle swoops down and snatches the kids. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell you a joke if you don't kill me. <laughs> what kind of crime are you committing when you attack a bird? A feather all offense. <laughs> <laughs> the writers forgot Braille Light existed, but they do! Every day, I stray further and further away from God <laughs> because the writers forgot about me. Dark Force Cat believes Ivy Pool should have won the poll and gotten their own super edition. Exactly! I agree. I agree on that. Ivy Pool is very interesting. AKA me, myself. I am Ivy Pool. Maple Shade sprains her paw running away from Broken Star. That, you know, I can understand that. Unless you want me to shove that broken tail of yours into your throat, stop following me. Breeze Pill accidentally steps on a landmine. Good riddance. Hey, 
What am I stepping on? Is this... Is this Jay Feather's stick? Ah! Jay Feather looks up at the sky and yells, I'm in a clan of idiots! Blue Star trips and dies. Fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy. Sandstorm just walks away. L, 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 Blue Star, L, Blue Star. Holy sh- Ivy Pool forces Prelight to kill either Broken Star or Jay Feather. She decides to kill- Thank you! Uh, I don't know why I was on that list, uh, but thank you! Oh no. Oh no. For, uh, questioning oh, no. Ivy Pool. I feel like this should be- we should be teaming up, defeating Greater Evil. But, you know, it, it all worked out in the end, so. Thistleclaw defeats Spotted Leaf in a fight, but spares her li Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get him out of here. Mabel Shade decapitates Tigerheart with a sword. <laughs> Rare Light receives fresh water from Star Clan. I take everything I said back about the whole, you know, string from God. We're back, and everything's back in alignment. Maple Shade eats crow food. Yeah, I'd expect that. Sandstorm stabs Spotted Leaf with a tree. Whoa! Okay. All right. The, the the fight for Firestar got a bit more intense. Al, you're not special. Eat shit. Do not talk to me or my Ivy Pool ever again. I save your life once. I spare your life once. I already have a father. He never says anything in the books, but like, like he does exist. Come to think of it, is, is my father even alive? Is, is my dad dead? How am I meant to know? We have like no canon interaction. Ivy Pool finds a two-leg nest and accidentally gets adopted for the night. Wow. Lion Blaze sleeps with a new friend, the stick. The Lion Blaze, you, you hand that stick over to me right now. Good. Oh, oh wait, no, I have mine. That was a decoy stick. I discussed with the How mystic. does a stick fucking walk? A giant eagle swoops down and snatches flame tail. Bray Light dyes their hair red to be more edgy. This is false characterization. Uh, there is there is no way I could be more edgy. How dare you insinuate that I could? Lion Blaze gets fleas. Sandstorm questions their sanity. Me questioning my sanity? Yeah, it's kind of accurate to every day of my life, honestly. What the fuck is this? Huh? What the, what the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> Smooch, smooch. I claim you as my kid. I claim that as my lover. I can't believe oh, you two. Oh, this is like top tier drama. Brightlight sleeps in a tree. <laughs> that's oh, that's a little poetic. Come on. Uh, Doubling Lion Blaze and Briarlight hunt for other tributes. Oh, oh, power three what? Fucking Jay Feather who? Sandstorm looks up the sky and yells. <laughs> Ivy Pool finds catnip. They spend the rest of the night enjoying themselves for a change. Uh, oh. Okay, but I'm st I'm taking the stick with me. Sandstorm kills Yellowfang for snuggling with Brer Light. I mean, she was old anyway. Maple Shade receives several explosives from Star Clan. <laughs> I can explode all of you. <laughs> this random dark forest cat kills Sandstorm without thinking they would make him leader. They're, you're unnamed a background character, buddy. Can't do that. Oh, ha ha. No, fuck you. This is Claude loose decided that where he is. Ivy Pool gets mauled by a rabid squirrel. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh, fuck. Lion Blaze gets into a fight with Jay Feather, manages to claw his eyes, blinding Jay Feather. You can't do worse than what's already there! Full Moon is out, a gathering has begun. Bray Light decides not to go to the gathering. Lion Blaze goes to the gathering but sits in silence. Dovewing, Thistleclaw, and the Sick get into a fight. Dovewing triumphantly kills them both. It was just Thistleclaw with a weapon. <laughs> do not touch me, you Thunderclan scum. Get the fuck out of here! Bray Light taints Jay Feather's. What the fuck? Told ya! I told ya the power of three was doubling Lion Blaze and me. I don't know if they're still alive. Possibly. I doubt it. But it's power of Bray Light, baby. Lion Blaze has her neck brutally snapped by a little kitten, and Bray Light kills the random Dark Forest cat while he was sleeping. Which means. I've, I've turned on my goodwill, and I've just succumbed to the darkness. And then I win. God, does it feel good to be a gangster? <laughs> the winner is Bray Light. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Um. Hi, I'm Tempest. I'm the- I'm one of the storytellers. I was f asked to, uh, to be here and help announce the quote-unquote epic battle that will take place. I volunteered against my will to be here today, and uh, apparently I personally love announcing battles, so I- I can't wait to see what happens. This is your finale to our Hunger Games series. Uh, these are all the characters who made it this far. Let's see who gets their prize. All the cats in the forest pause for a moment. A loud horn sounds. The game has begun. And as everything is starting, Dovewing is just walking away from the situation. Probably doesn't want to be here. 
Ivy Pool seems to have a strategy in mind, gathering as much food as she can. Stone Teller is the first to retrieve a weapon, a trident, found inside the cornucopia. Barley clearly doesn't seem prepared for the situation and just kinda takes a nap. Well, good for him. Ooh, and there goes our first cat, crushed by a falling tree. Ooh, Lion Blaze, that probably hurt. It seems Darkstripe just bailed with a lighter and some ropes. Ooh, I wonder what he's doing with that. And here we have a group formed already. Thistleclaw, Daisy, Hollyleaf, and Mapleshade. They're all sharing all of their gear, and then run off together. Let's see if they'll make it. Cinderpelt snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Also, it looks like she took a sip. Huh. And Blue Star gets the first kill. She sharpened her claws with dog bones she found, and sliced Graystripe open. It looks like all the noise in the clearing attracted a hungry family of foxes. Let's see if they get anyone. Oh, Brook and Midnight. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cloudtail seems to be a little confused. I wonder if he even knows what's going on. It looks like things have calmed down a little. Most of the... Do I say participants? <laughs> Most of the participants have moved far away from each other. Hmm, looks like Hawkfrost is talking to himself. For a long time. Huh, Blue Star seems to be declaring herself the leader. Standing on top of a large rock. She doesn't seem to have an audience, though. I'm not sure why she's doing it. It looks like Cloudtail finally figured out what's happening and is now complaining about it. Oh, it looks like the kits are in danger. Wait, they threw kits in this? Cinderpelt gets her fat ass stuck on a fence. Dovewing notices and laughs loudly. Oh, that's pretty rude of her. <coughs> it, it is pretty funny, though. And the sun falls beyond the horizon. The first day is over, and four participants have died so far. Let's get started. It looks like Hawkfrost is still talking. Interesting. Wait, whoa, he just said- What did he just say? Did he get clearance to say that? Can we have something like this? Uh, oh, okay, okay, fine. And another one is down. Barley looks like he's been poisoned by Cinderpelt. And Cloudtail is still not doing anything productive. Who brought this guy in here anyway? This just in. Local Thunderclan resident tracks down and kills evil tyrant bitch. Crowfeather receives several explosives from Starclan. Hmm. Stone Teller impales Thistleclaw with his trident. Jay Feather and the kids seem to have teamed up, and to commemorate the occasion, we have given them some explosives. Aww, and Darkstripe confesses his love to Tawny Pelt. Good for you. Hawkfrost appears to be watching the kids practicing their battle moves, but Jay Feather, clearly entranced by Hawkfrost's beauty, convinces him to stay away. Oh, and I'm hearing now, Crowfeather wants to. Wait, no, you're not allowed to do that. <sighs> Fine. Just once, okay? Make it quick. And the second day comes to an end. Three cats have lost their lives today. Why are we doing this again? Uh... <sighs> Night 2 begins, and Darkstripe manages to kill Hollyleaf with an ambush. And Blue Star accidentally steps on a stick, scaring off Ivypool's prey. Uh, yes, Blue Star, I'm sure this was an accident. Meanwhile, Hawkfrost attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Daisy catches a mouse. Good job. Tawny Pelt finds a nice tall rock. Climbing to the top, they start screaming. Briarlight and Leaf will have a secret love meeting. Meanwhile, Darkstripe and Jayfeather watch. Cinderpelt finds a thunderpath, but carelessly trips and... Oh, she's fine. Huh. Why do I feel like something else should have happened there? Daisy hates Dovewing. Why? Stone Teller chases Tawny Pelt after realizing she had a knife in her mouth. Daisy fends Hawkfrost, Cloudtail, and the kits away from her fire. And Jay Feather runs away screaming from Cinderpelt. Alright then, day four. Um, how long do we have to keep doing this? What? What? Seriously? But I can't just stay up that long, it's... Alright, day four! <laughs> it seems like things are back to normal. Jay Feather seems to be complaining the whole day. Kind of feel him at this point. Oh, it looks like Darkstripe dyed his hair. Hmm, a nice edgy red. Suits him. Oh great, Starclan, the kids have gotten injured again. But it looks like Cloudtail is tending to their wounds. Oh, and what do we have here? It looks like Hawkfrost has gone crazy. Oh no. Anyway, Ivypool seems to be taking a bath. Oh, the river just became much stronger. It looks like they managed to hang on to a rock though. They'll probably be fine. You know what? Here, have some more water. Oh, it looks like Hawkfrost just died. But he came back! Oh, and it looks like Blue Star's finally lost it. Huh, I'm having a deja vu right now. And over here we have Leafpool practicing her archery. Whoa, how do you do that? Let's see what Tawny Pelt's up to. Uh, she seems to be staring at Darkstripe with. Is that love in her eyes? Oh, too much love. Possession levels of love. Please stop. And Dovewing seems to be taking a nap. 
Good for her. Crawfever finds catnip. Is this just a vacation for all of them? Can I have one too? I think I see a cat there climbing a tree. It's Ivy Pool. Oh, wait, there she goes. All right, day six is starting. Cloudtail appears to be bashing Daisy's head against a bra- What the heck, Cloudtail? And another fight broke out. Sandstorm, Crowfeather, and the kits. Sandstorm? What? She killed the kits! A and Crowfeather, but- But the kits! And Leafpool takes the- who put a typo in my teleprompter? Anyway, good catch, Leafpool. And that brings the sixth day to a close. Some unfortunate losses today. I, I can't believe you, Sandstorm. Oh, and there goes Hawkfrost. Also fell off a tree. Interesting. Cats are supposed to be more acrobatic than this. Also, usually it's the tree that falls before the cat. Here we have Stone Teller exploring a nearby cave. He seems quite at home in there. And here's Darkstripe, taking a nap on another tree. Oh, wait. Sandstorm, what are you doing with that? Oh. Ooh. That doesn't look good. Let's just get back to Stone Teller. Uh, is he in another cave? How did he get there so fast? And with that, the seven days seems to be over now. Huh. <sighs> no one knows where we died this time around, so that's a relief. And it looks like, with a full moon, tonight is another gathering. Despite everything that's been happening, it seems we still need to have gatherings. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't see a single way this could go wrong. And the gathering begins. Blue Star, Tawny Pelt, Dovewing, Cinderpelt, and Cloudtail are present. They seem to be getting along well. Everything seems pretty peaceful so far. Oh, never mind. Dovewing just... But it looks like Cloudtail got away. He dashed into a lake for cover. Smart. Okay, not smart. He appears to be drowning now. Meanwhile, Stone Teller is still hanging around in this cave. Seems like a good decision to me. Huh? What's going on now? Sandstorm? What are you yelling all the way up here for? What? Did, do you think any of this is my fault? Take some responsibility for the things you've done. Y you killed the kits. You blew up some random cat in a tree. Whatever, Sandstorm. Just keep doing whatever you're doing. Anyway... It looks like we've had some unfortunate losses today. Hopefully this whole thing gets wrapped up soon so I can go to bed. In case anyone was wondering what Briarlight's been up to, she's been... She's been pretty bored. Switching clans literally on a daily basis. I'm not even sure if she's allowed to do that, but well, no one's stopping her. Oh wait, I think I see another big fight coming up. Stone Teller, Briarlight, and Sandstorm. Oh, and Briarlight is having none of it. She's out of there. Now it's just up to Stone Teller. Come on, you... I mean... One of you has to make it out of this alive. It looks like Sandstorm is defeated. Oh, how unfortunate for her. Good job there, Stone Teller. And with that, day 10 comes to a close. It looks like only one participant died today, Sandstorm. We're all feeling very sad for her, and we will definitely miss her. Anyway, let's move on. Looks like Stone Teller gets into another fight. With Leaf Pool this time. Oh, and a well-aimed hit right in the eyes. That doesn't look like it'll heal easily. Is getting heavily injured part of a medicine cat's job description or something? Well, it looks like Leaf Pool is off looking for a water source. Let's see where Stone Teller is going now. He's meeting up with Briarlight and Dovewing. Are they... Are they conspiring against her? Stone Teller, you blinded her. Is that really necessary? He gathered a whole hunting party after. Oh... Boy, and there she goes. Well, I hope you three are proud of yourselves. And now they're just having a grand old time by the frozen lake. Great. Huh? Oh, wait. Is, is the ice cracking? Oh, wait, I think they noticed. Oh, don't go off yet. Come on, just have a little bit... Oh. Huh, it looks like they're all getting along really well now. Stone Teller even confesses his love to Briarlight. Wait a minute. If those two are not together... Doesn't that look really bad for Dovewing? Wait, where is Dovewing? Uh, oh! Dovewing died while I wasn't looking. I, I think someone sneaked death berries into her prey. Wait, that means there's only two left. Maybe I could start interfering myself. All right, some badges over here. Uh, oh, an ad would be nice. Let's see where we're at now. Rhyolite is in perfect position. The adders are on their way. Now all I need to, wait, don't tell her. This is not the time, come on. If anyone was gonna win, it should have been you! Damn it. <sighs> well, at least I... that means I get to leave now. Y you know what? I don't even care. I'm out! You can't keep me here any longer! I'm leaving! And that will be just about it for us. 
Now, I understand you guys may want more of this, but uh, we go by a certain code here saying that we want to improve on everything we do, and we don't want to make videos just for the sake of, you know, cashing in on high viewer counts, but we want to make sure that the content we make is still up there in quality and we want to keep improving. So as for the answer of if there will be a fourth, I wouldn't bet on it, but if something changes or if, uh, you know, new ideas get spawned, we'll see what the future has. But before we go today, we have just a bit more content to share. Uh, these are some of the lines our voice actors did that I wasn't able to put into the final thing. So please enjoy some of these outtakes, bloopers, and or just funny things that our voice actors say in character. But hey, uh, until next time, y'all. Bye bye. Oh. You're approaching me? Oh, you are approaching me? Oh, <laughs> then come as close as you like. Time for a rematch. I really wish Tiger Claw just would have ended the job. <laughs> I really wish Tiger Claw just would have ended the job. <laughs> <laughs> You mean like this? Und so weiter und so fort. Listen, just because I'm gay doesn't mean that I'm interested in you. Besides, how am I even... Fuck! Besides, how am I even able to have kids? Besides, how am I... How, fuck! Just because I'm gay doesn't mean that I am... Ach, scheiße. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, she told me to do it. I'm not responsible. Da, da, da. Not responsible for that. Da, 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 da. Oh, that explains why I. Why I fit your scheiße! What are you doing on my territory? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you sleep? How dare you snuggle with Darkstripe? That's my snuggle buddy. A river. It's been so long since I've seen a river. Uh, the faint quiet of the babbling brook. The flow of water. The stream as it travels downhill. It's been so long since I've had such a sense of calm. The urge to kill slowly fades away. I feel as though I could stay here forever. Simply lying next to this river. Take this, Gorse Paul. Hard to fight when you can't even see. Barley? Hello, Barley. Where am I? What is this? Where's the river? I want to go back. I felt such calm by the river. What am I? Who am I? Without that river. Who could have known where this had gone? Who could have told me this is where my life would lead me? I want to go back, back to the beginning, back, back in time, back to the river, please, no. I cannot, I must continue, I need to uh, keep hunting, I must keep fighting for survival, I must be the one true clan, the one true cat, the one leader to rule us all. And yet, I want to go back, I want to go back to that river, there is nothing here for me, but, but at that river, I could have lived on, I could have lived forever, if only I could have been in the river, I want to jump into the river, I want to be back by the river, I want to be the river. You're welcome, bud. Your fat ass is hard to miss. Let me help you, Cloudtail. I'll bring you to the river. Good choice. Damn you, Blue Star. I should have killed you when I had the chance. <coughs> Fuck you. That's literally my morning alarm. We can still smell her. Both bodies of Scourge, just separate halves. I'm talking about your own mother. Is this catnip? Woo! No, 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 no! Wow, is this what Jay Feather sees? Silver Stream took both of my mentors. I am Brackenstar. I am the leader of ThunderClan. I will guide us to a safe and victorious year. Year? No. Moons. I'm having fun with this Brackenstar thing. I am currently waiting for a ramen order, so... Here, let, let's start. Don't let, don't give the DeviantArt artists ideas! Am I really that predictable? Yeah, of course Firepaw's a fucking bitch, what the fuck? Sorry guys, there's a, there's a, there's a battle going on outside of my room right now. 
don't remind me that I'm fucking dead. Bro, how come Scourge gets buried? You know, after winning two of the games last time, dying first kind of upsets me. You know, because I think I'm just going to do really well. And then I'm all, all of a sudden, this kitty pet just decides to throw a knife in my chest. Why does a child have a bomb? Yep, that's that's my mate. Yep, he's a fucking dumbass. The kids are going to be on another fucking murder spree. Oh, God. Oh, no, not again. You know what? Thank fuck I'm not alive for this. I don't know which is scarier. Do- do- do they all have a sing- do- are they all- fuck. Yeah, get fucked, long tail. Haha, <laughs> Brackenfur's taking an L. Listen, listen, Cloud- Cloudtail's fat ass is not real. It is all fur. It is all fur. There is no ass there. Listen, that's the second dead cat you're trying to flirt with. What the fuck? Yeah, cause I'm dead. That's why he can't start himself. <laughs> I can't fucking say that without, without breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, there's water everywhere. Hold on. Listen, my name is Sandstorm. I am here where it's dry. I am not meant to hold water. Get him out of the jar! How the fuck did he die giving birth? Why is he so stupid? Finally, my murderer is dead! Of course, the fucking medicine cat just didn't heal himself. How to- Barley fucking one! What the fuck? That once every 30 days, as long as you have Amazon Prime, if you link your Twitch account to your Amazon- Shut the fuck up. Goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. I had to deal with Firestar and Spotted Leaf after she was dead. All right, you can deal. The the errands just say, oh, ha ha, no, fuck you. And I die. It is Briar Light. You misspelled it, you idiot. <laughs> I, I don't know who won, though. I only know a Briar Light, not a Brer Light. This is Cinderpelt recording for the Hunger Games video. And I guess we'll just get it started. Oh, Leafpool, no, Leafpool. Come back, we need you here. Oh, no, Mousefur, I can't even help you, because all I have are explosives. Wow, that's a nice distance. That's a nice distance. Can always trust in my friend the bone. Keeps me sharp, keeps me on my toes. Leafpool, this isn't the way. This isn't the way, Leafpool. Pay no attention to the fact that I also got my fat ass stuck. That doesn't matter right now. This ain't about her. <laughs> that's a nice view. That's a nice ass. It's so fat. Leafpool, you leaving me again. You did it once, you're doing it again. Thanks a lot, Starkland. How am I supposed to use this when I don't have thumbs? It's so good. I'm going to Hot Topic. Because they're sleeping and they wouldn't be doing anything. This is non-canon. Little bitch. <laughs> He's gonna be so happy. K.O. I am the ultimate leader. Can cat snap? I don't think they have proper thumbs for it. So no, they wouldn't. <laughs> don't mind me just getting some exercise. Thank you, children. I'll be sure to give you good names when you become warriors. <laughs> Honestly, that was, I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at something else and that just came out. Move, bitch, this is mine. The stick. The stick. Oh, sweet. So before I begin, I have one question to whoever organized this whole thing. Why am I in District 2? I am not a cat worthy of District 2! Do you know how Hunger Games works? Teehee? No, not our kids! I mean, what kids? Uh, a frog in my throat. <laughs> that was totally, totally, that totally wasn't me. You better sleep with one eye open. Well, this is extremely uncharacteristic of Star Clan to choose the weakest character in the clan to uh, receive a sign from Star Clan. Normally, it's someone like Firepaw, or I guess Firestar now. I still can't get over this whole name thing. I don't understand, but I'm glad that I am alive. Je me peuple baguette. What is the French? I don't understand! Don't mind me just looking up French songs that English people know. <laughs> you do understand, Gear, 
that because you have uh, this the, the the games of hunger have spoken and have requested that Ravenpaw sing a French song. I now have to go find a song that I know that has French lyrics in it somewhere. So this is just fine. I can do this. Je veux ton amour et je veux ta revanche. Je veux ton amour. I don't wanna be friends. The things that I do for voice acting. But hey, you can't blame a man for being dedicated. Yeah. What in Star Clan's name just happened? Hey, yo, wave and paw. Do the line. <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh <laughs> Even paw angry, you will. So, Blue Star, I know we've kind of had maybe a little bit of tension considering that I'm a weakling and I'm not exactly the best apprentice, but thank you! Thank you for avenging me! God! Alos? I'm sorry, Cinder Pelt Chan, but Alo? That there's this really hot dead cat, Alo? This is so bad! I had fun with that, but I was so cringy and terrible. Every day we get stronger, sharpening our claws, sharpening our weapons. We are truly ready. Praise the beauty! Hey there, Rain Whisker. <laughs> Rain Whisker, come by, won't you love me? You don't have a choice. Cuddle with us. Come here, Feathertail, it's time to cut off your limbs. I'm not letting this stupid old man stop it! The... the... frog! <laughs> you thought I was gonna say fuck? Ah! I love you with too much passion, to the point where I'll rip anyone apart! Come here, stone teller! We crave violence! Can't be blamed for murder if I can't see the target, right? If I hit anyone with this, I am so sorry, but I also cannot see, so I think it's fair. Yeah, this is probably why they say pick on someone your own size. Oh, not again. Why does Tiger Star always go for me? All right, I'm, I'm too dead to explain. Can we just move on from this? All right, um, I think we're not gonna get the clones confused now. That's a good thing. Holy shit, I just killed Scourge! Cards of all clans! I am Teller of the Pointed Stones! And I have a message from my ancestors. You all suck! The stick! <laughs> now with that attitude, I'm getting out of here! Misty Star, my love. I shall leave my mark on this stick. My stick. You look like dog food, you're a kitty pet, and you, lo you loved a raccoon. None of you are worth my flame. You know what? It's fun. It's a fun water slide. I don't care that I drown. It's a water slide. Ah, uh, I would not. There's three of us, and... I'm there, and we can't manage to defeat Fallen Leaves. Isn't he like a ghost? I'm not scared of ghosts. I would have. Again, of course I could dodge a car. I'm literally immortal. There is no way to kill me. I'm not surprised in the slightest by this outcome. This is going to come back to bite me when I do die in, like, the near future. I'm sleeping again! I swear to God, this is the secret to immortality. I'm just gonna chill here as a ghost because I'm not scared of them as we proved earlier. I'm at least glad Stone Tiller died and in such a fitting way. That's what you get for flirting with me. Oh my God. I'm still not over that. I'm never gonna be over that. Again, lifelong trauma. Thank you so much for, for doing this. I'm never gonna recover. Um, oh. Oh. Leafpool thinks about winning. That's just my can-do attitude. Leafpool leaves a cinder pelt for a dead cat. And I do it again. <laughs> Craig leads Sorreltail, Leafpool, and Feathertail to a Thunderpath. Okay, okay. Thunderpath, that, I, th I thought that was gonna spell disaster, but we Gucci. Leafpool starts a fire. This camp is a fire. Sootfur leads Ash, no. Yes, Sit Sootfur leads Ash, no. Sootfur leads Leafpool, Ashfur, and Tawnypelt to a Thunderbath. Again? I'm just like chilling by a Thunderbath. It's like, hey, I'm just, is it even the same people? No, it's all different people. So, you know, I just like to see the cars, I guess. I mean, monsters, excuse me, I forgot my cat language. Hello, Sorrel Tails, or my baby. Kisses and smooches for you. Leafpool goes to sleep. Good, you deserve it, baby. I mean, I deserve it, baby. Leafpool saves Sorrel Tail from drowning in a. This is what I, of course I did. Sorrel Tail. I would myself drown for you. I would let you use me as a stepping stone. You are the light of my life. 
If anything happens to her, I will kill Hawk Frost, Soot Fur, Midnight, The Kits, and Leaf Pool sleep in shifts. At least freaking Rain Whiskers not here. Holy poor Leaf Pool. Everybody laughing at poor Leaf Pool, but I've to got a cover, dude. So now who's gonna be laughing now? Leaf Pool sleeps with their new friend, the Stick. I'm gonna freaking beat Soot Fur in Midnight for laughing at me with this fucking stick. This blanket is mine. All oh, mine. <laughs> ah! You are one mouse heart, a thunderclown cat. Uh, oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Amazing. Amazing Dubwing. If Dubwing wins this, I might be a little mad. Oh, oh um. Okay. Is this is this okay? Life life is uh, every day is a gift. <laughs> the stick begs for Briarlight to kill them. She refuses, keeping the stick alive. I would never kill in my life minus Broken Star. And then even then my hand was tied and by hand I mean paw. Briarlight decides not to go to the gathering. That's brilliant. Just leave. Just who's keeping me here? That just bye.